Well, how long did you know in advance that you were going to be moving to be, you know, to Raw and be the play-by-play announcer? Not long at all. No? But honestly, it was I was thrust into the spotlight um, week of, and it's something that I had been working on doing main event. Um, and when I got the call, I had no idea. Changes were changes were made, unfortunately. You never want to see, like, Jimmy Smith, a friend of mine. Um, and you don't want to, you don't want to see people, you know, move on. But when you're told you're, you're, you're being trusted with this position, it's like, okay, I, I appreciate that. And one day I'm sure, you know, one day I may be moved on and, and the next person will come in and I wish them well. It's, it's just the nature of what we do in live entertainment. So I, uh, I, I didn't know for long, but I had been working on it week in, week out during main event. And I, I, I love this industry that we're part of. I love live television. I love live shows. So naturally you're kind of at every moment you get during raw as a backstage reporter, I'm checking out, you know, what we call the truck sheets or the, 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 the show rundown at where we're at, what's coming next. You know, if I can listen in at all to uh, what's going on in the TV truck, I will, because you, like I said earlier in the show, this is a full circle moment. You, you garner a greater appreciation for how the show was put together. And I think as a host, when there's a fire going on in the in the truck, for example, and this is not WWE because it's so buttoned up, but I've worked in other places when a graphics machine may crash or something. And when you've worked on graphics and you can hear what's going on, you understand as a host and you're able to ad lib, you're able to fill time and um, make sure that the show goes on seamlessly, hopefully. Yeah, I, I I can only imagine what that would be like to hear the truck going crazy when something isn't working yeah, that right. That was elsewhere, not WWE, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> uh, how much prep work are you doing? Because like you said, you know, you didn't, you know, you don't have a lifetime knowledge of wrestling. Uh, I would imagine you kind of had to study overtime to start to get that knowledge. Yeah, and a lot of that, quite honestly, I'm a, I'd like to think I'm a people person, is calling people, talking with people, having chats, asking someone, can I have a coffee with you? You know, it, it's getting to know people and then it's consuming everything that's available on Peacock and um, getting to know the the superstars themselves, whether that's their 24 documentaries or previous matches. And uh, over time, you you start to develop your favorites. You start to develop the, the, the ones that you're close with as friends. Uh, and, and also, you know, you want the superstars to come to you with information on their character. That's just the nature of it. You, you always want... You feel like the the very the most invested superstars will give the most detail throughout, and you can tell. You can just tell when a commentator is is so invested, and and vice versa. It's a beautiful thing when you get those superstars that are just over the top invested in everything that they're doing, and and they want to communicate everything with you. And I I'm one that I want to try and chat with everybody throughout the entire day on Monday, and and make sure that I'm telling the right stories. So then. Okay, so then are you writing stuff down? Like, is it all mental? Or are you writing notes on these things? Or how, how does that work? Both. Both? Both. You know, a, a big part of it is, you know, how do you differentiate Imperium versus the bloodline? You know, in terms of adjectives, adjectives, descriptives, um, how, how how do you position certain superstars? There, there's an awful lot that goes into it. The psychology is very important, uh, given what we do. So I think... Uh, uh, there is a there's a huge amount of prep, but I would nearly watch SmackDown two or three times, and watch it and watch it and listen to why Cole said a certain thing a certain way, or watch a different show and 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 tune in and try and understand the why. And the why is very important for what we do because you start to understand the psychology and the storytelling that comes with that, and then the light bulb hopefully goes off and then another one goes off and you you start to meander and navigate your way through shows that little bit easier.